Bulls are looking well. Are you happy with them, Peter? I am. What, what I can see of them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because it's getting a bit dark. Yeah. A bit dark. <laughs> <laughs> You've had some rain up here. We've had a lot of rain. And we've had um, a big deluge back in um, March, pretty close to the old bowler date. Yeah, we saw that on the news. Yeah. But so we ended up, the family's um, been keeping um, rain for the Met Office since 1926. And so we got a lot of data there. And yeah. it sort of reminded us of bowler again. We, we had close on, what, five, 80 odd mills? Yeah. Over, over the period, one big dump. And now fencing and slips or? Oh, unfortunately. And have you lost a lot of fencing? On the, on the country that hasn't been planted, um, and there's a lot of cracks in behind those slips too, so the earth flow is gonna happen over the winter. Yeah. Old yeah. slips though, that go again or? Oh, mostly new slips? Mostly new slips, yep, yes, yep. That's oh, interesting how um, nature just dumps water in one particular valley. Yeah. And, yep. And that's what's happened to us over uh, next one over by, towards the sea. Yeah. What about stock? Lose any stock? No. No. We, that's good. The, the great thing now we're actually getting a bit of warning uh, when these um, events going to happen. Yeah. Now, yeah. Uh, back in Boulder, for example, we, we had no idea. The river came up, went around the base of, of the bank, and then the stock in between the the, 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 the water and, and the and the, the water's edge just came and just took the stock away. This time we've got to get them off the flats. Yeah. yeah. But for those of people that haven't been here before, Pete, how would you explain where the, where the farm is here exactly? From Gisborne? You mean um, uh, location? Yeah. We're um, 40 k's um, east of um, Gisborne, yeah. basically up the coast. Pretty much right on the coast, aren't you? Like yes. The sea's just over there. Yep. Hence the crayfish at the sales. The crayfish yeah. at the sales. <laughs> yes. yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It, now the bulls this year, um, the weather's affected them. Do you reckon? They didn't do so well, and it was a, an indicator if your lambs aren't doing well, no stocks doing well. So, yeah. although um, they looked you know, well grown, they weren't weaned, and oh. so for the, the lambs, the, the lambs and the bulls yeah. actually, yeah. yeah, they just sort of just plateaued. Yep. Yeah, because the bulls look good to me. Oh, thank you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's been plenty of grass, but the grass has actually um, been a little bit soft and has gone through them. Yeah. So it, you know, it, it, that, that's something that we should be thankful for, to have the grass, but yeah. it didn't actually um, it's just soft. cater for the needs of, 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 of actual um, putting condition on. Yeah. Yep. Numbers fairly on, on par through the rostrum as last year, Pete? Yep, we've got 27 catalogued. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep, and um, you know, the, the, we're very thankful for the, the continuing um, support we get from um, numerous buyers. Yeah, I am real concerned about about the land use changing, because every um, hundred cows that go, you're, you're really talking about two and a half bulls, really. Yeah, yeah, true. Disappearing. For you guys. Yep, yep. So when I took over from Dad, all our bulls used to go up the coast, north of us. Now we haven't got any gain up there. Really? None? Yep. So just too many pine trees up there? Too many pine trees. And trucks. And trucks, yes. Yeah. 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 They're like ants. They just yeah. keep coming, yeah. the old trucks. Yeah. It's amazing up here. Yep, yep. And you've shipped at the date? Yep, we've brought it through from um, from the end of June to the first week of June. And it's on 8th of June, 10.30 a.m. So you're, you're welcome to come for breakfast and stay for a lunch. Sounds good to me. Yep. Now, exciting new bloodlines, Pete. Yes, we bought a, a, a particularly good um, sire from um, uh, uh, Robbie's down in Ekatahuna. Yeah. So he, he'll have some in our cell in, in, in year after next. Yep. Um, what we've got lined up for this year, we've um, got a mix of outside bloodlines um, uh, uh, with, with in conjunction with our own. Yeah. And, and when I say our own, it, they've been sires from outside by our cows yeah. um, to, to breed on. Yep. Yeah. Have you kept a few nice balls for yourself? Yes, we that have. You're not, that you're hiding? Well, the, my sons keep on saying we're breeding these bulls, we should have the pick. Yeah. And I've, I've, I've been re resist, uh, I've, I've reluctantly said no, we put our better bulls up because genetically the, 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 the middle run bulls are, are probably just as good for breeders. Yeah. 
But this year they've come in and, and while I've been out of action, they've, they've taken them. That's good. Well, it is for them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And of course yeah. the quiet. Yep. Yes, you know, are. I didn't have much to do today. Yeah. Yep. They just wandered out there. They're good. Yep. That, that's, that's good. Yeah. Um, the people who can't put up with um, bad temperament, especially they're, they're um, a group animal, a herd animal, and they've still got to be taken away from their, their mates yeah. and shaken up in a, a stock truck yeah. and, be, and be delivered to their, their um, new home. So they've got to be quiet to start with, otherwise um, yeah. people can't handle them at the other end. Yeah. Have a good luck with yourself, Pete. Thank you. Thanks for having us again. Yep, very we welcome. We love it up here. I, I enjoy to see you both. Okay. Yep. Thank you.